uh, hi everyone and welcome back so here we are we are writing this swiggy service swiggy restaurant service okay so what initially i want to do is the basic setup of auth gateway of api gateway and the swiggy microservice like how they are going to talk to each other we already have the login and registration so we can easily get the the firebase token that firebase token we will send to the graphql gateway that will send that token for the validation to the auth gateway we will talk to the firebase and we'll say okay token is valid now let's forward this request to this swiggy service swiggy service using rest connector and then swiggy service will respond with the data it has okay and that data we will be able to receive in the query and mutation and this is the graphql api gateway so here we have to build the graphql schema right graphql schema of all the entities we have in the postgres right we are going to create aggregate schema so that we can actually query and do the mutation against that schema okay so this is i'm not going to write a swiggy service as a whole first what we will do is we will write one endpoint restaurant uh, get update delete and then we will write auth gateway another microservice using nest.js only and then api gateway using node.js express just a simple apollo uh, graphql gateway right and then we will do the connections we will do the communication of this up api gateway with the auth gateway and the swiggy microservice which is going to fetch the data from the postgres okay so this is the first thing we are going to do so first thing we have to do is writing the controller services uh, and all these things for this right so in terms of nestjs right now i hope you know what what all things we are going to do in in terms of nestjs when we are building this I will have a DTOs. I will just write a REST. So I will create a DTOs for the payload validation. Then I will write a controller. And then I have a services. And services will talk to our IPO RM. So here, let's say we are using one library. I will just also put the name because this is how we are actually talking to the database using ORM I mean type ORM is part of NestJS application only not an independent service just to give a highlight okay this is how we are communicating right the services are actually talking to the repositories of these different entities so in database we are writing we are writing all these entities like restaurant entities and all So these are database entities. Okay, so services are actually we are injecting these services. We are injecting these entities into the services using type forum. And these services now are getting the repository. Repository is nothing but a, a service which can talks to the type or and, and fetch the data, right? Now you can also write some pipes, some middlewares and all middlewares we are going to write in this auth gateway because whenever the service is going to uh, validate route, then we have to validate the token and we have to return okay status success true or success, success false. Success true means the token is valid. Let's go forward and talk to the Swiggy microservice, right? So this is the, the this is the baseline we are going to build first to establish the communication how services will talk to one another okay so what we will do is let's go to our code so here is our code yes so here uh, we will start creating the entities so first what entity we are going to create that is in the entity relationship diagram and first let's say we are creating the restaurant restaurant and menu let's let's do the both because uh, they are independent restaurant id we need to pass in the menu okay menu has nothing more than that we have a cuisine type enum meal type enum uh, media banner price name description type okay yeah these two entities we can independently work with okay restaurant will have id that is a foreign key in the address and all yes so we also need to have an address entity so let's do three things menu restaurant and address because restaurant will have an address 
so we have to create an address entity also and the menu because restaurant will have multiple menus that we will store inside the menu entity i hope this is visible to everyone so this is the menu this is the restaurant and this is the address entity we are building okay so first of all what we will do now we are not creating database tables our database is empty which is bootstrap through this docker compose okay how do we create the entities simple steps is either you write the migration like create table table name and uh, columns and types okay another thing which i generally use is i will write these entities okay then i will use this type orm database sync utility that will create these entities in actual database once you have database table you can actually extract out the ddl statement and create put that in the migration for production but here we are just playing around with these things right so i will create these entities here in the entities folder and our type orm so this is my type orm config.ts it will actually read these configurations from these folders when i do the build entities migrations and all right and in my package.json i have some powerful things like uh, type orm cli commands migration generate migration run db sync db sync is what we are going to use it actually what it does is it looks at the entities and it will create the tables for us okay so let's create these entities i will do this offline and then we'll meet in the next video